Bible says that for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men, but unto God. How be it in the no man understands him, how be it in the spirit, he speaks mysteries. Let's begin to declare mysteries unto our God. We are communing with our Father. He is the Father of all spirits. He understands what we are saying as we decree them. He is the one that created our lips. Let's give unto him. Let's, 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 let's speak unto him this morning. It is not for us to understand what we are decreeing. Let's just speak the words. Let's, let, let, let's speak in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in tongues. In the name of Jesus. Build up yourselves in your most holy faith. Charge up your faith this morning. Charge up your spirit, man, this morning. It is well. Let's begin to decree in the spirit. Decree in the spirit. Decree in the spirit. Decree in the spirit. Speak those words. Speak those things. Speak those things. Speak those things. Call those things that be not as though they are. In the name of Jesus. Bible says that if the spirit of him that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in you, he says, shall quicken your mortal bodies. Our bodies are quickened this morning. In the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Let's pray in the spirit some more. Let's pray. Let's pray some more. Let's press on. Let's press on. Press on in the place of the spirit. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your glory that is to be revealed in us. We thank you for this morning service. Let's commit this service into your hand, into God's hand. Let's ask that the glory of God will be revealed in this place. That lives will be touched. We will never leave this place the same again. Let's begin to pray that this morning service, your lives will not remain the same again. Your lives, your lives will not remain the same again. You will have a testimony at the end of this service. In this week, you have testimony in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. In this week, oh God, Father, we invite your presence over. We receive testimonies, oh God. We receive good news this week. In the name of Jesus, this service is committed unto your hands, oh God. Lord, you will touch lives, oh God. You will heal people in the name of Jesus. You will turn situations around, oh God, because it's only you that can do these things. You are the one who does marvelous things. We trust in you, O oh God, to be in this service with us, to, to heal, to deliver. In the name of Jesus, blessed be your name, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you that we give all, we give glory to our world, to your praise. There is no one like you, Lord. We thank you for this beautiful morning, Lord. The name of Jesus, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you, King of Your King of Glory. In the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. We thank you. We honor you, Lord. We thank you for your presence in this place, Lord. We thank you for your honor, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready to dance for the Lord? Hallelujah. Are you ready to dance for the Lord?
Worship him. If you can't worship him in the spirit, no one like you, Father God. We declare this day. Have your sin, God of all the earth. You alone are God. You are God alone. Have your sin, Baba. Oh, 
you are awesome in our midst you are mighty in our midst the lord our god in the midst of thee he is mighty thank you because you are mighty in our midst thank you because you are mighty to save you are mighty to deliver you are mighty to heal you are mighty to provide glory to god hallelujah we give you praise baba god we declare once again that there is no one like you absolutely no one is like unto our god you are a God all by yourself. You don't need help. You are a helper who doesn't need help. Glory to God. We give you praise this morning. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We, all the glory belongs to you. For in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Please help me welcome five people to God's presence this morning. You can give them an elbow bump. And say welcome to God's presence. God is in our midst. Jesus is in our midst this morning. Please, let me tell somebody that Jesus is in our midst this morning. And he's here to do you good. He's here to do you good. He's not just here. You know there are some people that are just there. No, that's not what he's here. Because the Bible says everywhere he went, he was doing good. Glory to God. So, he's here in our presence this morning and he's here to do you good. He's here to meet you at the point of your... You know he knows what you need more than I do. He does. Hallelujah. So he's, going, he's here to meet you at the very point of your need. Amen. The Bible calls him the ever-present help in the times of trouble. Hallelujah. He says he's the ever-present help. He doesn't depart. He doesn't go away. Glory to God. He doesn't leave us helpless. Glory to God. Aren't you glad you belong to a God like this? Aren't you glad? I want you to give him praise in the house. Hallelujah. I want you to give him praise in that. If you know that you are never forsaken, you are never left alone, give him praise in the house. Glory to God. Hallelujah, somebody. You may have your seat in God's presence. Jesus is in the house this morning. His power is in the house. His anointing is in the house. His glory is in the house. Because where you go, whatever your attributes are, they go with you. So if Jesus is here, that means his anointing is here. And we know that his anointing breaks yokes. Hallelujah. So whatever it is that you have come with, get ready. Amen. Get ready. Glory to God. Please let me tell your neighbor, get ready. Are you ready? Are you even ready? Are you ready for what God has in store for you this morning? Because you have to come to God with an expectation. Amen. Anytime you come to church, you must come with an expectation. You can't just come to church anyhow. There is a reason why you are here this morning. Hallelujah. And God has something in store for you. Glory to God. God has something in store. Tell your neighbor, God has something in store for you. In case you didn't know, God has something big in store for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This year will be your best year yet. See, there are people who have not heard me. I'm saying despite, I was reading something on Google yesterday, and it said something about, was it in Japan or in Korea? That last year, how many people remember last year? That we didn't go out, that we didn't do a lot. He said, last year, 
the amount of billionaires, I'm not saying millionaires, though. I'm saying billionaires. That the amount of billionaires in Korea last year grew more than ever before. And that was the year we did not go out. So, going out or not going out, is that not the real thing? In case you didn't, that's not the thing. Hey, Amen. You can sit in your home and still become a billionaire. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Isaac sold that year. That year where there was a famine. Where not even grass could grow. The Bible said he sold it that year. And that year, the Bible says he, he ripped the hundredfold. That's when the Bible says that. What the Bible actually means is that the optimum he could ever reap, that's what he did. In the year there was famine. Ah, this year God is going to show off with your life. Like never before, he's going to show up with your life. People are going to look at you and ask you, how are you doing it? <laughs> you are not experiencing a pandemic. You will say, oh, at the outside. But I know who you believe in. I know in whom I have believed in. I know in whom I have believed in. It doesn't matter what is going on in the outside. You know that. It doesn't. <laughs> the one that you have with you, the Bible says he spoke the world into existence. And that his world is still suspending the world. Have you ever heard the world that the world has tilted? No, it hasn't tilted. In all the years he's done it, his word is still suspending the world. What is your problem? What do you have that is not sought out? In fact, in a tinkling of an eye, this is the God who took a man that was a prisoner one day. I don't know, that story blows my mind. It blows my mind. Anytime I'm tempted to think that, ha. Huh, I just remember that there was a man that was a prisoner today. Today, tonight, he was. And the next day, he was a prime minister. And you, I think you don't understand the magnitude of it. He was not a prime minister in his own state. He was not a prime minister in his own country. Hallelujah. Not in his own country. Because when God gave him that dream, me, I, I, the way the human being, if they say that you are South African and they say you can become a prime minister here, it's possible for you to believe it. It's very possible. You say, ah, I will join here. I will join the other party. Okay. Thank you. GA. Not join GA. Okay, EFF. Then I will climb through the ranks. Hallelujah. And I will become whoever it is that God has said. So now, not only, he wasn't he was sold. He did not go of his own Do you remember the story? He did not go of his own volition. Did he go? No. He was sold as a slave. You say, ah, I came from Zimbabwe and I worked as a domestic worker. Doesn't mean nothing. Doesn't mean jack. Oh, I came from Nigeria. It doesn't mean jack. Because the God that did it once, he can do it again. And he's a God of patterns. Hallelujah. He's a God of patterns. If I, he takes delight in doing things like that, when people say it's possible, because you want to tell me that Sarah couldn't have had that kid when she was 40. She could have had that kid when she was 40. And it would have even been a miracle. 50. God waited on him. Uh -uh. This is hopeless. The Bible even says it has ceased being with her as it was the way of women. Be that we are women, we understand that. That means her period had stopped. Then you pause way, way back. And it has wasn't meant no pause. It was meant no stop. Because it was years afterwards. And God just added a comma under that post. You say semicolon, Abi. There can still be something written after that. Glory to God. What is your story? There can still be something written after it. They have said this is that. There can still be something written after it. Failure is a situation. It's not who you are. It's not who you are. It's you who decide. It's just a situation. People have failed before. You will not be the first. In fact, anybody who has made it in life has failed at one time. Amen. The problem is you getting up and dusting up yourself and just saying, I'm going forward. Amen. This year, you will go forward. Ah, you did not hear me. This year, you will move forward. You know, one of the things that God keeps telling you, they will come and look for you where they thought they would find you. And you will not be there. You will not be there. You would have moved forward. You know, there are some people still expecting you to be in that same place you were before. 
Amen. For some of you, they'll come and look for you in your old house. You have moved. Amen. By the virtue of what God will do this year. Because I believe that this year, he's set to show his glory. There is no better time for him to show his glory than now. I mean, when you could make it with your own power, you didn't do, when you now can't make it with your own power, that's the way. Ah, he will take the glory in your life this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see impossibilities becoming possible for you. What men have said is impossible will become possible for you. If there is no precedent, you will be the first. You didn't hear me. If there is even no precedent, you will be the first. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You will be the first. I see you overtaking. You didn't hear me. I see you overtaking. You think your mates have gone on ahead of you. This is the year you will overtake. 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 Your mates have married. Uh, small. By the time you start with twins, you know you'll have caught up with some people. Even if they have been married for five years and they have two kids within that five years and you just have it one time, you will overtake this year. You will catch up and you will overtake this year. You will catch up and you will overtake this year. You, will, you did not hear me. You will catch up and overtake this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Your business will blossom like never before. <laughs> hey, Kasuta. Breli Satiya Tabashikere Bababa. Every step you take from now on, it will be in the forward direction. You will not miss it. You will not be distracted. You will not be obstructed. In the name of the Lord. You didn't hear me. I said every step you take will be in the right direction. Will be forward. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The businesses you are going to do this year, you have never done them before. Some of you will be sitting down and they will bring businesses to your house to come and meet you and ask you to do it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. This year you will see more spiritually. You didn't hear me. This year you will see more spiritually. Therefore you will do more in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will this is your year of accomplishment. You didn't hear me. This is your year of accomplishment. This is your year of accomplishment. You are going to build homes. You are going to build marriages. You are going to buy cars. You are going to build houses to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Your business is going to expand. Someone here, you need to make room. Just say, I'm making room. Make room to the left and make room to the right. Because God is about to blow your mind. Ah, in this year, 2021, it's about to blow your mind. You are about to blossom. People are going to look at you and say, what is, what is happening? What is happening? Because you will shine like never before. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Those difficult situations, he will just sort them out just like that. Glory to God. Give him a praise and a worship in the house. Give him a praise and a worship. I see him sorting impossible situations. I see him sorting impossible situations. Impossible situations. Impossible situations. Impossible situations. Impossible situations. Glory to God. Hey, Kasula Bradishikeba. Just pray in the spirit a little bit. Mazianta, Bradisa, Mashike, Eng, Gredisti, Matula Bradishke, Zinta, Liata, Bashike, Bababa. Okay, Bababa. I see them handing you keys. I don't know the keys of what you are expecting. I see them handing you keys. Just hold on to it. I see them handing you keys. It represents to you. You know, you can claim it this morning. Whatever it represents to you, I see them. Can I see them handing you keys. Keys, keys, keys. Glory to God. I see them handing you keys. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. 
Receive your keys, receive your keys, receive your keys, receive your keys, receive your keys in the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive your keys, receive your keys, receive. Shati ala broni sata bragadishke. Zede dua sata da bre gushe ala bro dia shekere baba ba. Ansa liata, mansa liata, mashikere yanda ba suri yata ta ta ta. Oh, we give you praise, Lord. Ah, we give you praise, Baba God. We give you praise, Baba God. We give you praise, Baba God. Masekere baba. Ah, thank you, Lord, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Give him a praise in the house. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you praise, Baba God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we have worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Continue this way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Oh, 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 I see you stepping higher. There's somebody here. You are stepping higher. You are stepping higher. You are stepping you know, there are times that a child wants to pick up something from the shelf and his hand does not reach. I see him lifting you up to reach it. I see him lifting baba. It's not by your might, it's not by your power. The things that God will do this year, you will know that it's not by your might. You will know that it's not by your power. It's in our midst, strange happenings. Hey, exams that have not been passed. This is the year we will pass them. This is the year we will pass them. This is the year. Masia la baba shikere do 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 do. Woo, glory to God. Ah, masia la ta ta ta. Mose kere baba baba. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. There are doors that have been opened for you, glory. There are doors that have been opened for you. There are doors, doors that have been shut. You see, I'm rejoicing with you because there are doors that have been opened for you. There are doors that are, I, I, do you really believe it? That there are doors that have been opened for you. Okay, baba, shake it, baba, baba. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Musikere baba baba. Ah, glory to God. Kere baba shikere baba. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Give him a wave of faith one more time. Hallelujah. 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 Thank him for the impossible being possible. Thank him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. You may have your seats. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please write those things down. The one that concerns you there, you write it down. The one that concerns you there, you write it. My sister, God is about to do something in your life. Because I kept on looking at you. I don't know why. So your husband should get ready. Maybe it's because of you he will be blessed. He's about to do something. Amen. So this is not the time to fight. Not the time. Just not the time. Because you're not going to get it if you fight. This is the time. To, this is the time for you to forgive him whatever he does. And you to forgive her whatever he does. Because if you're fighting and you're, you're not going to get what he has in store. And he has big things in store for you. You are meant to be a builder. You are meant to be a builder. And to achieve that, you have to be in agreement. You can't afford to be fighting over things that are not. Some of us, if we know what is ahead of us, we will not be fighting petty fights. <laughs> you don't have time for such things. Because you know, you want to tell me that um, Oprah Winfrey has time for somebody that is talking behind her. She doesn't have time. That's how you should behave. Because you have great things ahead of you. So you don't have time for petty bickerings. If somebody comes and is telling you nonsense, story, tell them, I don't have time for that. My time is too precious. My time is too precious for me to be bickering and be talking nonsense talks. 
I have big things that I'm dreaming about. And those things that you are bringing, they're going to be blocking my view. You don't want your view hazy. You want your view sharp and clear. Amen. So that you can see precisely. Amen. This is a year of hitting it right. You understand? You can't afford to be going left and right. Hit it right once and for all. Know that you hear from God and then hit it right. We don't want it amiss. Because that miss could be costly. It could be very costly. So you don't have time for small, small bickerings. Don't listen to people who bicker and tell stories and gossip. This is not a time to say her hair is not good. It's none of your business. Amen. She's not dressed properly. It's none of your business. Because you have something that... <laughs> Sometimes when you are in trouble, do you know that you stay more focused? Because if somebody comes and starts telling you nonsense, you won't have time to listen. Take it that way, that I have something ahead of me that I need to sort out. So I don't have to, I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't have time for petty things. I get it. If it has to be done, I get it done. What God has said you should do, don't wait until somebody else is doing it. Because a lot of us are waiting. Oh, will it be only me? Why not? Why can't, it be, why can't you be the only one building the church? Please tell me. Me, it will be an honor for me to be the only one. Hallelujah. So if God has put something in your heart, stop wasting time. Amen. Stop saying that. No, it's you. Who is more qualified than you? There's nobody else. If God says you can do something, you can do it. Amen. So don't wait on to others. This is not a time. Um, see them. The petty fighting has to stop. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to. Because me, I'm not fighting with anybody. So I know it's not me. So if you are fighting with somebody, you are the one I'm talking to. It's you. Yes, you. Particular, I'm talking to. Amen. Stop the nonsense. Stop it. Amen. Stop it. I'm not talking to someone. Shame on you as a Christian. As a Christian, really, you have time for that, but not talking to someone. And I greeted that she did not answer me. What rubbish? Greet her again. Glory to God. Greet her again. If I go in her front and say, I'm greeting you. Say, I'm greeting you. In case you didn't hear me. Maybe the person didn't hear you. Said, Make sure you tell the person to his or her face, I'm greeting you. And if she doesn't answer, next week you do it again. Amen. It's small, small things. Must filter off. Amen. This is a year to achieve for God. Amen. One of the things that God told me at the beginning of this is that this year is the year where you will do and God will back you up. But you'll have to step out first. You'll have to step out of the boat first. You're not going to be in the boat and God will come and meet you there. Peter stepped out of the boat. That's when the miracles came to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. So my word today. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. We started, I'll just lay the foundation for some things and then we'll continue next week. God has his way and amen. Maybe this is what you just came to receive this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We started last week. I started a few things last week. We were talking about the resurrection. And you see, the more I read about the resurrection, there is so much to it. <sighs> there is so much to be. I said last week and I'm repeating it. If you knew what God did for you in the resurrection, sincerely, you would just start dancing. In fact, people will be asking you, why, why are you dancing? Say, so you don't know. You don't know what he did for me. If, he, if you can only catch a glimpse of what he did for you in resurrection. I mean, it should be the most celebrated of Christian rituals. It should be the most celebrated. He came and he took your place. Amen. What can be more than that? I, I said, if you have ever been in debt before, raise up your hands. Because I have been in debt before. When that debt was cancelled, how did you feel? You know the way you feel. That's exactly what he did for you. He cancelled whatever was written against your name. He cancelled. He paid more than enough for it. Amen. And we started last week. I said, let us go back to the book of Genesis. When I was studying it again this week. Genesis chapter 3. I told you what happened. God made man. God actually made man to rule and reign. God said, I will be reigning in the heavens. Let me make a being that will be reigning on the earth. And like I said last week, what did man say? I want our own power. I want to quit my own way. God, just, okay, you, take the heaven. Let me rule. A man didn't realize that without God's power, you are nothing. You're nothing. There's nothing you can achieve. Man said, God, let me, I want to be my own boss. Just like some of the colonial states in those, they drove the white man away. There are some to say it. I feel that there were some countries that the white man had actually stayed. Maybe it would have been better off. This, this is my own opinion. I'm not saying it would have been better off. 
I feel that if the, if the colonial masters had found oil in Nigeria, they would have made a better. Uh, it's just my own opinion, chat. Because these ones that found it, we don't know what they are. Doing. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel that they would have done something better with. It. At least would have had things that work. Hallelujah. Amen. My own opinion. Okay, so the why um, they drove God away out of it, and I told you they lost everything. They lost their identity. Did you write it down? They lost the presence of God. What was the third one? The glory, the presence, the identity. That's what they lost when God said. I was, as I was reading it yesterday, and I was just thinking about, you know, two months ago, I was telling you, be careful who you listen to. You know, the, the problem that got us into this day, the circumstance that got us into this problem, was if listening to the wrong person, be careful who you listen to. Because who you listen to, at the end of the day, they will cause you to take action. Some of you have people. Some of you have people that you should not be working. God leading you arise. What, what was the story? If you listen to the snake, that's all. Imagine if the snake had come and he had said, I bind you. Or I'm not even talk to the hand. Short that man. Oh, 
It will not be a temptation if it's the opposite. It's a temptation when it's the kind of thing that you like. And that's what the devil will bring. If you think he will just bring something, then it will be easy for you to say no. Of course, you don't like it. You will not even see it. But you, you know now. That's just chocolate, not very, uh, not very nice. And not very dark. In my house, like 10 people. And we didn't like light skin. Some light skin men. If you're a light skin man, if you're not my name, you won't pass. Amen. I don't know, whatever. It doesn't like light skin men. I think we like this shade of my husband. Dark chocolate. That is very healthy for you. That chocolate is the healthiest chocolate. Amen. Get on board. Hallelujah. Shame. Oh, and he's light skinned. But he's very cute. Amen. Seriously. Don't stay within any temptation. Oh, no. No. Those things that get you down. You know. You know that when you listen to some certain something, you just have feel inside. You know. Ah, you listen. You know that when you visit some certain places, you remember where you are coming from. Why do you go there? Amen. Why do you go there? Hey. I don't want to. I want us to take it slowly. Tell me next But I just need to say something. I was asking my husband this. One of the things that the blood of Jesus is there is revelation. Justification. We will take each one after the other. I don't want us to rush. But I was asking my husband this morning because I heard during the Ebola sense of doctors. Remember, America, the sense of doctors to go and this was heavy. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Glory to God. Give God praise. 
shalom with God. We give God praise. Why is your feet and just give you praise? Ah, Baba God. Oh.